Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of the Wolves Let's Play season back in the Premiership. Um, again, still wearing the same clothes as the first two episodes because I'm doing a bulk recording session so I have videos to do, um, videos to do, videos to edit so they can all go up during the week because I don't get a lot of free time. Um, so, in the previous episode we managed to beat Plymouth 3-0 in the Carabao Cup. Moving on to the next match, <clears throat> which is the first game of the Premiership. Now, <clears throat> so far, we've not got any injuries yet. No injuries is a good sign. Um, and it's against Burnley, so we are favourites to win this one. Um, they have a couple of injuries, not too bad. Um, as you can see, Tottenham beat Everton 5-3. In the very first game of this season um, but we're going to jump straight into the team selection here I'm really happy with um, the condition the match sharpness we're not going to change anything um, right away anyway we're going to keep the same team and um, we're going to jump into the very first game of the season against Burnley um, what I'm at, I'm, if you guys are enjoying the series anyway Please do share it somewhere or leave a like and subscribe, it all helps. Like I say, I'm wanting to try and get to at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I don't think that's too much to ask. Six months to get a thousand subscribers, subscribers is, um, I think, achievable. Uh, we're already at 200, that was from what I used to do before. Um, but yeah, let's take a look here. So we're playing against Burnley, they're playing a 4-4-2 with Heaton, Ward, Ben Mee, um, Tarkow was it, what's this guy's name? Tarkowski? Flanagan. Don't know the right midfielder, not even going to pronounce that one. Jack Cork, DeFore, Brandy, Barnes and Chris Wood, who is, um, before starting the season, he was actually tipped to be um, the sixth best striker in the Premiership for some reason. So, yeah. But we are starting to line up. This is our formation going into the season. If it doesn't kind of pan out and isn't working that well for us, we will look to change things up, but I'm pretty happy with this and I'm pretty sure that we will end up getting a lot of good results. Playing with three up front this season, like I said in previous episodes, is kind of a must. Um, well, not really a must, it, it makes it easier. Um, but what I'm looking to achieve here is the best possible finish in the league. We have done the best we possibly could with the transfers that we have managed to achieve as well. Um, and we're going to jump straight into the first game of the season. And I expect a win today. Um, I hope everyone's been enjoying the the two weeks of summer that we've had so far. It's to continue. And it is absolutely roasting in this flat right now. We're in a top floor flat. <laughs> and it's, a, it's an attic flat. So in the summertime, it is boiling. And in the wintertime, it is freezing. Um, so early on, Dirk Meyer into Ruben Neves, long ball up to a four but folks can make a run and it's going straight over the bar. Not so bad, not so bad, but we're playing at home so I think we're in with a good chance and that was a very, very bad opportunity there for Burnley. Well, good opportunity, terrible execution. As Ruben Neves whips in the ball, Flanagan clears it away, the four will take control What's he going to do with it? He's going to play it back to the goalkeeper, play it safe. Um, but being at home in this game is something that I've always found to get relatively good success from as a full wave puts it 1-0 into the back of the net and it's going to be Milan Skoda with the assist straight through the middle. Um, I'll go through my tactics at the end of this game and kind of show you roughly... The way the team kind of plays, and I'll try and explain a few things as well. So that was a great finish there by Afob to make it 1-0 inside the first 10 minutes of the game too, which is gravy. Um, I wouldn't say we're necessarily dominating the game, but we've had the majority of the highlights, even though Burnley seemed to have pretty much the exact same chances. So Afob goes out here but manages to win it back. One thing I was also looking at as well with the team, they're really, really tall, a lot of my players, so they're very, very physical, and Skoda just cracks the bar there from a ridiculous angle. As Jota into Ruben Neves, good shot again, a four will hold on to the ball, he's winning it back, he's losing it, and he has fouled the defender. <clears throat> but I was, kind of, I was going back over my, the last 
few series that I was doing on YouTube a few years back um, when I was staying at Mother House and one of the series I loved and I would like to bring back for Football Manager 2019 which is the no transfer story as we just concede. Chris Wood makes it one all as Bolly was looks as if the man who made the mistake there. Um, so the four whips it straight down to Flanagan. Flanagan on the right hand side, nice ball in, and it just kind of deflects off Bolly straight onto uh, Chris Wood to make it one all. Not the best of goals to concede. Hopefully we don't concede too many more, but Burnley have cemented themselves as one of the better teams um, to have been promoted over the last few years. They've managed to get into the top 10. I think they've even managed to get a top 6 or top 7 this season, if I'm not mistaken. As we lose out once again, Wood brings it down and it's Dick Muir cracks it away. Brady shot again before deflection. Just do something with it. Just clear it. Anyone. Anyone clear it. Um... Looks as if Burnley are getting the better of us at the moment. Um, as Dirk Muir will go, oh, come on. It's a red card. Come on. Red card on his debut is absolutely amazing. Um, right, okay. So we want to try and keep our defensive shape. Dirk Muir is going to get a boot. Um, we're going to bring on Doherty. Bring him back to defend, move this guy up here, make him a target man, attack. So we are a man down already inside 25 minutes thanks to a rash challenge by Dirk Muir, our new defensive right back, which is pretty gutting, if I don't say so myself. So we've had to make do with getting rid of one of our defenders, or one of our strikers for our new defender in, and we are now 2-1 down to Burnley as the first game of the season. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Duckmere has kind of sold us up the river as Marcelo gets outpaced, outskilled, outmaneuvered. Just didn't perform well at all there. And Chris Wood makes it 2-1 two, two after going a goal up inside 10 minutes. Free kick in by Burnley. Flanagan will bring it back. Down to Chris Wood again and John Ruddy will collect the ball. Burnley seem to be on top of us right now. Which is a bit of a shame as Ruben Neves over the top to a phobe, a phobe, come on. And he's put it wide right of the post. That is not good at all. Things just seem to have fallen apart here for Ruben Neves with the free kick. And he has scored the free kick. What a strike. That was fantastic. Two, oh, this is going to be some game. If we can somehow get a draw from this now after going 1-0 um, down. Or sorry, 2-1 down. But that's a great free kick by Ruben Neves. Let me just move my microphone a little bit closer. Maybe be able to pick up my voice a bit more. I just realise it was sitting at the end of my desk. Ruben Neves into Skoda. Skoda holds off the ball and it's a nice shot, but it's just over the top of the bar. We're starting to come back into the game now, which is good, but we still don't have much possession. Similar chances, more shots on target, which is good. We've had more clear-cut chances, so we're making the most of our chances, getting the better of the chances. As Burnley will go on the attack once again. Ward down the left hand side up to Brady. Brady whips it in. Chris Wood. Whoa. That was close again as John Ruddy manages to clear that one. As we're going into half time, we are 2 all in our first game of the season. I'm not overly optimistic here, if you don't mind me saying. This is looking fairly rough at the moment. Conceding two goals in the first half at home as a, in the first game of the season, especially getting the man sent off, is just, um, yeah, not good. So we're a man down, but we can still get a result here, guys. Come on. Delict like, holds on to the ball up to Marcelo. Marcelo will do absolutely nothing because the highlight just disappears. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping we can get a couple more chances in the second half. I wouldn't mind getting a couple extra goals here. Skoda with the assist so far, he's, he didn't play any games in pre-season for us and in the game against Plymouth he didn't really do much either but getting an assist is not too bad. Ruben Neves has been ever present as Skoda with a shot again just over the right hand corner of the bar. 70 minutes and let's make some changes now, let's make some changes. Um, we're going to bring on a Bonatini for Skoda. Skoda's not been doing too well, complete forward, that's fine. 
and we will bring on Alfred for Vermblum. And he is that as well. So bring on two new players, get some fresh legs on. Ward down to Barnes. Barnes will whip it into Bolly. Bolly clears it away, but Ward will collect again. Hendrick in the midfield, pass it down to DeFore. DeFore down to Ward once more. Long ball into Douglas. Douglas will take the ball, clear it up to Bonatini. Bonatini, long ball into a Phobe. A Phobe's on the run. A Phobe with a chip is just shy of the left hand post. How unfortunate can I be here? Ruben Neves with the ball in. Bolly is cleared away by the Burnley defence. We are pushing for this third goal. Ruben Neves on the left hand side. Mm, not very good. He's lost the ball on the left hand side. A pretty dangerous spot. And Burnley will whip the ball in. Ruddy with the save. I'm really, really nervous about having this goalkeeper, uh, Ruddy, in the back of the net for the Premiership this season. I'm really gutted that we never managed to keep on to our new goalkeeper, the one that had to go away on loan because he didn't have a work permit. I should have really noticed that. Um, Bolly whips it away. Ward, there's no one there on the outside as Ruddy will hold on to that with three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. It's a mistake and Ruddy manages to save it again, but that was really, really poor. As Ward will hold on to the left hand side, back into the four. Brady, good passing by Burnley. And it's another shot and it's just wide of the left hand side. There's two minutes left. Can we somehow get one last chance? As Douglas, Ruben Neves, Neves into Alfred. Alfred with the shot and it's went well wide. But that is going to probably be the end of the game. 2-0. 2-0, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that and I'm not happy with it because if we kept... Buddy Dennis on the right hand side we may have came away with a better result having that extra man but I feel we've did not too bad Ruddy actually played pretty well come the end of that game he had some really really good saves um, we're going to be cautious um, we, we were unlucky today I felt we were unlucky we had a lot of good chances we just didn't capitalise on some of them um, and yeah so this has been episode 3 of the let's play that was the first game of the premiership against Burnley we didn't lose which is good we managed to pick up a draw against Burnley who are one of the more settled teams probably mid-table teams now Dirk Muir banned for one game let's have a look here was dismissed for a bad tackle and the referee's, referee's decision was probably justified so we're going to as I always do if my any players that get sent off it starts off if they get sent off once it's issue a warning sent off twice one week's wages sent off three times two weeks wages and if they keep getting sent off, it's constantly two weeks' wages until next season. So we're going to issue a warning to Dirk Muir because he kind of sold us up the river. And, uh, yeah, that will come to the end of this. Well, before I go, actually, we're going to look at tactics. And I'll kind of give you a rundown of what I'm doing with my tactics um, if we go into team instructions. Okay, so what I'm wanting to do this season with Wolves is play kind of possession football, really high tempo. We're going to really go for it. So, as you can see, much higher tempo. One of the things I've noticed in Football Manager 2018 this year is width. Always have it narrow, compact that midfield. Then you've got your two wing-backs. So we'll go up and down the left-hand side and the right-hand side. <coughs> that will provide the width that we need. Defensive line. I would say if you're a really, really strong team, like Man City, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, teams like that, defensive line push right forward, I would say. I'm going to keep it on normal for Wolves because we're not the best team in the league. I don't want to be caught out of position too much. We're not going to be favourites to win most matches. Um, use the offside trap as well. Can affect you a little bit if your players aren't quick enough. But I do feel we've got some pretty fast defenders there. Um, so offside trap will kind of nullify any counter-attacks that try and take place. Prevent goalkeeper um, distribution from the other side. So we're going to also pressure, 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 pressure as we're obviously closing down a bit more too exploit in the middle because we're playing really narrow and we've got looking for the overlap on the right hand and left hand side shoot on sight I think is important as well because the more opportunities you have the more shots and chances you create the more goals you might end up scoring um, running at defence as well because the players we have especially on the right side, left side we've got Afobe, Jota um, they're really fast players as well and they're pretty good at dribbling so running at defence will cause them to panic a little bit and I think I've managed to cover most of this so far and obviously play out of the defence. We've got some defenders there who are really good at passing. They're obviously are three central ones. So we're going to look to build up from the back and retain possession and obviously be a bit more expressive too because we've got Ruben Neves in the centre there. Um, looks to be 
he should perform pretty well this season. I'm looking forward to seeing how he turns out with Wolves anyway. But yeah, this has been episode three, guys. I really hope you're enjoying the season so far. I'm really enjoying getting back into it, as you can probably tell. Um, and the next episode you see, I will have probably changed by then. It's just doing a bulk upload in one go, just so I can get some videos scheduled for during the week. And when I do get some time, I will record some more and do the exact same thing. But this has been Makeshift here. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And please, feedback, comment down below anything you want, anything you want me to talk about in the next episodes to come. I will be looking at the comments. Don't worry if you don't hear... Um, if, obviously, because I'm doing bulk uploads, if you are commenting and talking to me and I'm not responding to it in the next videos, it's because I've already pre-recorded some things. So, but I will be looking at all the comments and I'll be looking at everything there. Um, so, yeah, any feedback, any comments, any questions, please do drop that in the comment section down below and I will bring it up when I'm next to my recording. But this has been Mate Shift here. Thank you very much and I will see you all in the next episode. Ciao.